Hey guys, my name is Joshua Hawkins. I'm 21 years old. I'm from Covington, Georgia, which is about 30 minutes from Atlanta. And started my testimony off. I always grew up in church, you know, and always knew the word. And But I just never, you know, had a relationship with God. So I always played basketball and I, um, I also sang in high school. And I know, I, I remember around about ninth grade, um, I entered like to my first relationship with a female. And I always wanted to, you know, keep my purity till I was married. But I also remember I was in high school and one of her friends came up to me and said, oh, you're scared. Scary. So it just made me like think I had to do it. So I fell into that, and then I remember falling into pornography as a young, as um, being in high school as well. So um, after high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. I knew I could sing, but I didn't know exactly what I uh, should do with it. So I had this song that I was promoting, and I remember doing showcases in Atlanta, and I was also modeling and acting. So when I got um, to these particular showcases, it was one that I got to um, the sound guy. He ended up calling me and said that he had an independent label that he wanted to work with me with. So I prayed about it and I remember I had this dream and in my dream God said that it, it was judgment day in my dream and when I got there I was running late for judgment day so it was weird. But when I got there he said I've been calling you did you not hear me? And I'm like yeah I've been praying trying to get right what do you mean? And he says I never knew you and you've been misleading people. So I didn't wake up and I'm just like shook and I'm just scared. So when I wake up I started, pra I started fasting and I started praying. And as I did that, I remember my auntie gave me a call and she called me and she told me about this conference with Eddie James. So I was like, okay, I'm trying to get right with guys, so I guess I'll go. So I went to this conference with my friend, he's a rapper. And the first night I went, um, we ended up leaving early, but in my heart, I felt like I needed to be there. So I went back, they had like a workshop for um, worship leaders. So I went back and I really loved it. And I showed these guys um, my song that I had and they really loved it. And um, I got one of the dancers here, Mercedes, she introduced me to Eddie James and I played him my song and he really loved it. And he was just saying like, you know, I told him about the dream that I had and the different visions that I wanted to do. And he was like, you know what, pack your bags and come with us. And I was like, what, really? And it was like, it changed my life just like that when I finally just said yes to God and gave God all the glory and surrendered completely. Like he really just changed my whole life. Like this ministry has really opened me up. Like before when I first got here, I remember I didn't really open up to people. I was really quiet and I was kind of shelled, but it really has given me the freedom and I've become more open to worship and free. And it's just like I've been took it through deliverance and it's like I'm free now and I really do appreciate this ministry and everything it has done for me. And it's just been a great experience and I've grown so much spiritually and it's been pulling out multiple talents that I didn't even know I had and I just really appreciate what God is doing in my life and I just thank God for Eddie James and this ministry and I just can't wait to see what the future holds. Eddie James Ministries is looking to raise $200,000 in the next 30 days. Can you help? Whether you give $10, $100, or $1,000, every seed will reap a harvest of souls for the Lord. Let's work together to rescue the lost and shift a generation. Give today!